here at the federal courthouse in Newark covering a trial that could have ripple effects all the way from the White House to your house. New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez is going on trial for corruption. And while that might sound like a faraway headline, here's how it could affect you. Menendez is a Democrat. And if he were convicted and expelled from the Senate by January 2018, his replacement would be appointed by Republican Governor Chris Christie. Now, Christie's Republican replacement would be one more Republican seat in the Senate. However, all of this is moot if Menendez gets acquitted or if Democrat Phil Murphy wins election in the fall and Menendez can run out the clock until Murphy's swearing in in the middle of January. Menendez was indicted more than two years ago and his trial finally got underway on Tuesday with jury selection and an unusual sight. The judge in the case locking reporters out of the courtroom for two hours while the senator was rearranged. Now, Menendez's spokesman said that the senator was rearranged, pleaded not guilty, and all that was discussed between the lawyers were scheduling and jury selections. Now, Menendez is on trial because the Justice Department says that the three quarters of a million dollars in campaign contributions given to him by Florida eye doctor Solomon Melgan were bribes, and that that money, along with luxury vacations and trips on private planes, were a quid pro quo, in exchange for which Menendez allegedly intervened on the doctor's behalf in a Medicare billing dispute, helped protect a contract for port security in the Dominican Republic, and yes, got visas for the married Melgan's girlfriends. Opening arguments in the trial are set for September 6th, and the trial could last as long as two months. For Chasing News, I'm Alex Sedan. All right, thank you, Alex.